hey what's going on I'm gonna put this wood stove in my basement and I know there's a lot of videos of people doing that kind of thing so uh, what's the big deal here why am I just showing another video well I'm showing this video because I'm fortunate enough to have a window in the basement here and it's right in line where I want this fireplace about in the center of the wall kind of looks good and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know set the clearances you know the the stove to the wall on the sides and all that so it's all the code and all that and the, the exhaust comes out the back it's right here and it's going to need a curved pipe going up I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to use uh, you know the, the insulated pipe or just a regular stove pipe and just have a heat shield wherever I need it but for the for the outside for the chimney part what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these door vent kits and uh, like they're usually so that's where my advantage is. Normally you have to cut a hole in the wall. I'm going to use the I'm going to take the window out and make a surround around it. And this part will be protruding into the into the uh, house into the cellar here. And this is your clean out plug down here. And that's going to go downward so you can take that out and if you want to run a brush through your chimney and clean it out. Here's the stand for it. The whole thing sits on. This will be on the outside and then this will sit on top of it and it's designed to hold quite a bit of weight I forget how many feet a chimney will hold but more than I need I'm going to about I'm going to need about uh, five sections of three foot or in other words 15 feet and that will terminate above the, the roof uh, and the, the end has to terminate I think two feet higher than any obstacle ten feet out so you measure out from your roof ten feet and then you got your two, you know, two feet up, and that's high enough. I think uh, that many sections will do it for me. And then on the inside here, we're going to have the uh, the thimble come in, and then your stovepipe goes into it. So that's it. And I'm going to make my, start by making the surround, getting the chimney where it belongs first, and having the thimble where it belongs and then I'll be able to properly distance my stove, figure out which pipes I'm using and things like that. So I'm about to get started, so I'm going to document some of this project. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Some of the videos I've seen, it, it makes it a little more difficult to actually figure out how this is all going together. But here I got my piece I made to go in the window, and I even think I could leave the window frame because there's enough um, distance beyond it outside to fit this box. This will be the inside. The po this part points to the inside. Um, I will be taking the outside shell off so I could lag this into the house, into the concrete. And, uh, but other than that, how does it go together? Um, this piece, like I said, this will be on the outside of the house. And it's kind of cool because if you're worried about cutting into your house um, and messing it up, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice way to know that you got it, you know? It's not going to be... Uh, you know messed up or anything like that so uh, this piece here is your bracket that's going to be up against your house here's your clean out here's your clean out plug and uh, I tried to put this bottom on for a while to put my um maybe I should have put my reading glasses on before I was trying to shove it on but there's two screws to hold this cap on and it won't go past it so take them out and basically it's going to be like this but before it goes into there you have this piece here that goes in like that and then this piece is gonna this whole assembly 
and they say if uh, they said um, the piece that's going to poke into your uh, house, um, this piece here, if you're going past, I think six inches of wall distance, I think they said to use a, uh, uh, I believe a 12 inch extension. I guess it's just not long enough for the reach into the thimble. Uh, I think this is an about nine, the one that came with the kit. But if you don't, if you have to buy the the optional one, it'll always twist on above to give you another whatever distance it is. So that's going to go into there. And it takes a little finagling to get these through because they're they're cut pretty tight. Okay, so that's going to be. Uh, of course, I got the bracket backwards, but you get the idea. That's going to be the outside of the house, like that. Okay. Now, the inside where it pokes through. The inside where it pokes through, and it's just cockeyed right now because it's not mounted like it's going to be when it's finished. Okay, so it'll be something like that. Then you have two more pieces that go on. This is going to go over to give you a little decorative look, and then this is going to go over to cover any additional uh, distance that you have around the hole so you don't see it, the gap. So I'll get that all mounted into the window and it'll, it'll, it'll look better than this sloppy demonstration I just did. Okay, so I did take the window out completely. This made more sense. And then this is gonna go in. I'm gonna take this outer shell off so I can put screws through the masonry and uh, hold it in. Okay, and uh, of course I'll be caulking around the outside of it and uh, painting it. You can see where I put the boots to it a little bit to get it in there. So then we got our ready to put some parts in. So this collar that goes in. That's pretty slick right there, I like it. So, now we're gonna put this guy on. Okay. Sweet. Still, pipe is coming right to the surface. 
and that's where this pipe is going to go in. And uh, now we got, we hook it all up. Our trim collar is going to go around it. So like like that. So I got some good ideas, uh, especially that will look kind of right in a basement with heat shield. So I think I'm going to go, I am going to go with the inexpensive regular pipe. A couple reasons for that is uh, because this is, you know, the expensive end is this chimney. And the hardest part of this whole job is what I just accomplished here. So the rest of it's just, you know, the, the chimney pipe just screw on. Uh, this this uh, project, I'm, I'm keeping track of what I'm spending, and the majority of it is, of course, on this stainless steel uh, door vent. Everything is door vent. I should have mentioned that a while ago. It, this is all door vent. And uh, it's door vent plus uh, triple wall. So back to the cheap uh, stove pipe. The, uh, all this is triple wall, so the gases are going to stay hot when they go in there and, and go. that helps them migrate to the top instead of having creosote issues at somewhere along midway in the chimney because the gases with the creosote, like in a masonry chimney, condense from the wall. So this helps to keep hot all the way up. So I'm going to lose a little heat from the stove to it. But it'll also help heat the room and you know heat the whole basement. I could put a fan in the corner and blow on this baby and it'll probably heat the whole joint up. Alright, so we're mounted up here with the the chimney coming out the window with our out of the wall chimney kit for it's this door vent plus. And in case you're not familiar with the rest of it, uh, all the pieces just simply Go on and turn locked. That's it. It's locked. So you do that all the way up and put some uh, straps. I think it's every three or four feet. I'll, I'll check on it before I screw them in. And um, they go around it and into the wall. And you might see this mini split back here. It's an air conditioner and wonder, you know, this, is this too close to that? Well, this is actually supposed to not even get hot on the outside at all, but you're only, uh, you only need two inches of clearance between it and, and something else. So we got that covered definitely uh, between this distance here. So uh, I'm going to make the rest of the chimney go up, and then I haven't decided whether I'm going to cut the soffit out completely to you know, just a square opening, or uh, come up through the bottom with a round opening and again I got to leave two inches uh, from a flammable or any other object actually I think it is so um, two inches around I'd have to make a hole uh, about 14 what is this nine yeah about 14 inches something like that and uh, and then uh, through the roof I'd have to go too another hole through the roof and then you have to finish it out with um, some flashing to keep the water from draining into your house. So I haven't decided which way I'm going to go on that. I'll figure that out as I get up there. Alright, the last phase in this project is finishing the chimney. And I'm going to make a uh, kind of an extruded aluminum, I think it's called, cover up there so it'll let uh, air circulation in, right in there. And then I have to add the last length of chimney up there. And with that, I have to put down the flashing. And uh, I made my own piece of flashing uh, to save um, 100 hundred and some dollars for the, the flashing for the hull on the roof uh, just you know wherever you can you save money and it'll work just fine and I have to also make a roof bracket because of the length so that is also uh, another over hundred dollar piece so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my own and uh, for 
I don't know, maybe if if uh, if thirty dollars, I'd be surprised. Like I'm gonna use another one of their own uh, style brackets. Okay, real quick, the last piece in the puzzle in this wood stove install in the basement is because I have the the chimneys a certain height. I think it has above. I forget what it is, but in any case, um, it's up high enough where you're supposed to have a roof bracket. And I'm going to make it out of, well, I should say I've made it out of these these two um, pieces of electrical conduit. And I got this idea off of somebody else on YouTube, and but his video way overcomplicated it. It took like, I don't know, 20 minutes to watch, but basically, I'm going to use, instead of making a bracket, I'm going to use a bracket from the, uh, the door event kit that they sell. Well, actually, it's an additional one I bought. Found it on eBay for a stupid cheap, and uh, I'm just going to, that costs a little over $25, I think, or $23, I don't remember, but, um, yeah, so that, that was the only money I spent, and then this would be the other thing. Uh, this was like five dollars this this stuff and I cut it in two. I got a short piece and a longer piece so and Then I have two uh, This is some kind of bracketing. It's it's sold in long lengths and I cut it into uh, You know you hang things from it um, on walls um, and buildings and things that you see it uh, I had a piece of it laying around just cut two pieces of that cut some holes in the side And uh, that's it. So let's go up on the roof and put it in So I'm going to use some uh, silicone, this is actually high heat even though it's really not needed, this is cool to the touch. I made the flashing around the chimney and uh, that saved uh, just about 100 bucks right there. And I made it on pretty thick steel so you may have noticed that I, before I nailed it down, I punched a hole in it with another nail instead of ruining my roofing nail trying to go through it. So we're just going to seal up the gaps and uh, with this silicone uh, I'm putting it on before I put the roof bracket just so I don't uh, trip over the roof bracket and fire my ass down onto the ground. That would be, uh, be the crummy ending to a, uh, to a day. Also going to seal up the nail heads with a little bit of silicone. Increase the size of the hole in the door vent roof bracket that I used. And, uh, we'll get going on.
All right, so there we got it. Uh, roof bracket, short ends, short side of the roof, and a little bit longer over here. There we go, and it's strong. I tested it out real nice. It's very sturdy. Good. Good strength, it's not going anywhere. Some other reasons to have one of these stoves is I cook on this thing, I boil water on it. Alright, so this is my basement stove project pretty much complete and uh, I got this uh, metal roofing for a heat shield and it really works well. I mean, when this thing was, was humming with heat, uh, the wall behind it, which is just sheetrock, drywall, whatever you want to call it, uh, it, it got warm. And right now, it's cool. It's cool behind it. I don't feel any heat whatsoever. So, uh, this is why I did this because I didn't want to use the door vent pipe or the insulated pipe. I want that heat that the uh, stove pipe gives off instead of letting it out into the chimney because it. I have a box fan in the corner, and man, I'm telling you, when this thing gets hot, and you can see I can make tea water on it, I've cooked uh, breakfast on it, cooked bacon on it, and you know, uh, so what did it cost me? Um, let's see, I got I got most of this stuff written down. I got I paid 200 for the stove. I uh, found it on the internet. Really good buy. This stove is is I don't know, it's it's long. If it it's a big chunk of wood, and it really it really works well. Um, the door event through the wall uh, thimble was 341.33. That came from Home Depot. The single wall pipes that I had to buy, I paid about 30 bucks for. The door event chimney, I bought five pieces of uh, three footers, and that was 42703. I ordered that from the Home Depot and it got shipped direct from Dorvin. They had the best price again on that. So uh, you're looking at the piping uh, being in the nature of about $760 about. That's the meat and potatoes. And you know, I figure the stove was $200. So seven, eight, you know, 900 bucks worth of stuff here. Uh, plywood for the thimble around there about $30. Uh, the extra band for the for the roof bracket. That's where that pretty much the only thing I really had to buy. Twenty six dollars. The conduit that I cut and squashed to make the, the angle brackets. That was five dollars from the Home Depot. And then I made two uh, anchors, and um, it's all done. And uh, I love it. I'm, I'm actually getting so hot standing next to it. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but the the tea water is just about ready. It's starting to whistle. So uh, this, this was a fun project and uh, I got it done in time to use it for this winter. And this, this basement is about a thousand square feet, only about half of it's got uh, baseboard heat. But the great thing is now, this, with this fan blowing on it, the whole place gets hot. And I, I dry laundry, I hang it down here, it's, it's going to save me money on the electrical dryer. So this is uh, my project, wood stove, and uh, thank you for watching.